Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series, this is episode number 35 and today we are returning with the big one, uh, first we've got Lincoln City away in the FA Cup 5th round, more on that later and then on the weekend in our second and final games this episode, our first ever Cup Final as we take on Watford at Wembley in the Carabao Cup. So before we get to the games, show a card and get it off camera, oh I'm so excited man I can't wait. And of course, after that thrilling last episode where we drew 1-1 at Stamford Bridge, beat Manchester United in the Carabao Cup semi-final. That is, that is my favourite game of the series, no doubt. And then of course, I won the Victoria of Palace in the FA Cup fourth round. I played five games off camera, all back to Premier League matters. And after a really great unbeaten run stretching back to October, we did taste defeat in our very next game. And Manchester United got their revenge here in Wales after we dumped them out of the semis. Uh, Fernandez made it 1-0 to Cardiff. And I said in the last episode, he'd be hurt by getting dropped for the Crystal Palace game. Completely out of match day score, need to respond, and he has done. He scored the first goal here uh, to make it 1-0, but Lukaku was just sublime in this game. His first goal to get United back on the return was just amazing. The first touch and a chip over Onana, sublime from Morelu. And, uh, and then later on, as we were holding on for a point, Manchester United scored two late goals. First, uh, first for Martial, who again was also sensational, and uh, Lukaku wrapped up the points two minutes later. So our first defeat since October, our first defeat at home, actually, funny enough, since when? Uh, when? We have lost to own a season, I know, already, surely. There we are. Uh, Chelsea. Wow, back at the start of the season. Wow, fair enough. But uh, either way, uh, yeah, after that, we uh, did respond with a win over Burnley by two goals to one still in Wales. An uh, interesting game because we fell behind 28 minutes in. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, this could be back to back defeats for the first time all season long. We've, we've started off poorly. It's been a really poor beginning, but straight away, great response. Fernandez made it two and two, got us back on level terms. And then late on in the game, we needed the savior to win it for us. And it was Josh Murphy. Josh Murphy. I'm, I'm loving this guy once again, man. He's, he's feeling like maybe not season one Josh Murphy, but either way, he's, he's coming good late, uh, late on in games this year for us. And uh, he came good there, made it 2-1, and uh, got us the three points there. He's got the win, our return to winning ways. And after that, a 2-0 win over Leeds United at home, uh, Fernandez scored our first goal, 3-3 three three for Bert Lenio. And then uh, Jordi scored his first goal for the club after a deflected Jason free kick fell into his path. And our big giant centre-back scored his first for the new team. And uh, following that, two more wins to complete a four-game game win streak. Uh, first home to Fulham in a nice three game home streak. Uh, sorry, four game home streak. Uh, we uh, once again fell behind like against Burnley. Uh, poor start for us. Four minutes in. Mitrovic making it 1-0 as the Serbian put the visit in front. But Paleo Maria got back on the score sheet for the first time since that cup semi-final as he made it 1-1 just a few minutes later. And right before half time, Jason scored a free kick to make it 2-1 as we got the three points. And our final game off camera was the dress rehearsal for the Carabao Cup final. We took on Watford away at Vicarage Road and we beat them by three goals to nil. Great way to get the confidence heading to today's episode. Uh, Maria scored his second goal in two games, making it 1-0 57 minutes in. And then with 15 minutes to go, I discussed him in the last episode. What a pickup he's been for us this year. Vitolo scored two late goals for us in 13 minutes as we won the game by three goals to nil and picked up our fourth successive win in the Premier League. So right now in the standings in the Premier League table, as you can see, in the last episode, I wrongly said we were in the European place when we ended the episode. Of course we weren't. We were in eight for the time, but Due to how tight it's been this season, after four wins on the trot, we've now shot up to fifth place in the table. But it's so crazy, man. From third to seventh, there are only three points separating the sides. It is so close right now. Of course, we know that the title race is going to be a two-horse race. United and Liverpool this year have been absolutely fantastic winning games, left, right, and centre. It's going to be a two-horse race for the title. We know that. But in terms of the, uh, the, the Champions League and the Europa League places, obviously, there's, there's six teams going for four spots. Two teams are going to miss out. But you can't really call it. Arsenal right now have got a, a bit of catch not to do but for the most part it's still incredibly tight and uh, it's, it's been an amazing season man it's just like no one is slipping up it's unbelievable I mean, there have been some slip-ups, of course, but for the most part, the slip-ups come against the big teams. So when we drop points, it's against each other. It's really weird. But uh, as well, uh, one thing to show you, the transfer window has now slammed shut as I go through the dynamics of the screen so we can check out how the boys are gelling as a unit right now. Uh, deadline day uh, ended with a loan deal. Uh, we loaned out, where are we, Latif, uh, the young Egyptian uh, midfielder. He's gone to Hamburg for a year just to get some game time. Shame about Latif. He went out last year on loan to Vigo, came back a really good player, planned to use him in the first team this year but that that broke what was it a broken no it was an injury for ligaments wasn't it uh, yeah damaged crucial ligaments um, after that he's just been 
I'm not going to say ruined because he's only 20 years old. Plenty of time left for him to get better and uh, still improve. But either way, it's, it's a major setback for us. We'll see how he gets on in Germany. And uh, there you go. And uh, yeah, it's time for the first game of this episode. And it is indeed Lincoln away at Sinkill Bank. We take on the League Two side, the lowest ranked team left in the division. And I've got to be honest here, after the first four years, didn't get much luck in the cup draws. We have actually been pretty fortunate this year with the draws we've had. Uh, only United in the Carrow Cup semi final was uh, one of the ties, which was a really difficult one for us. Anyway, this is our team for the game. Uh, despite playing the 4 2 3 1 for pretty much the entirety of this nice run here this season, I'm going to go to the 4 1 2 3 for the game uh, just to keep Watford guessing on the weekend. Because, of course, in FM, uh, your opposition teams can scout your uh, previous games and uh, check out your tactics. So I'm going to keep Watford guessing for the League Cup final and go to a 4-1-2-3. Uh, this is our team right now in the injury report. Only Smolov is still out as he's coming back from that torn hamstring he got back in January. And this is our team for the game. Fully rotated side with Watford coming on the weekend. I feel confident we can get through today. We've got Moreira in goal. About for a Davis. Johnny Evans. We don't see him much. Device captain Metham and Stefano. With a midfield Trubby and Cam Rassel and McTominay. On the wings, Murphy and Milner on the right-hand side. And... Uh, Fernandez is our lone striker. Uh, on the bench, Onana, Kimpembe, Odriozola, Warprouse, Jason, Maria, and Kalidio as well, just in case we need the stars to come in. But uh, first game, it's Lincoln away, the League Two side in the FCUP fifth round. Let's get through. Come on, you Bluebirds. Lincoln, by the way, 10th uh, place in League Two right now, as I'll passionately say to the boys, come on, lads, show me what you can do to keep our run going. No, I did nothing. Um, yeah, they're 10th they're in League Two right now. I, I definitely fancy our chances. It is, a, it is a potential banana skin, don't get me wrong. There is a chance we could slip up here. We've seen some big cup sets and some giant killings in uh, in the FA Cup. That's one of the best, reasons, uh, best things about the FA Cup, but uh, I feel confident. I feel very confident, especially on the run we're on right now. So waiting for the first chance, 10 minutes in. But the last thing we want is a replay with some key Premier League games to come. We don't want a replay at all. Well, I'm happy to leave it until the break, but this is quite disappointing. I didn't want to bring on any of my starters, but I think I might have to. Instead, there is a free kick, which Davis takes. And oh, Johnny Evans, the vice captain, the veteran, with the final touch of the half, almost put us in front. Still tied at 0-0. I'm going to say to the boys that that was disappointing. I'll calmly say I'm not happy with performance out there. That's fired them all up. And I think I will change the tactics real briefly as well. Uh, what should we do? Right, we're going to go more direct in our play. And uh, we're going to stop playing out the fence and passing into space. We'll ask the boys to run at the fence because I love when they do that and get more expressive in the creative freedom as well. Distribute the ball quicker too. And uh, I, I think I might bring on Jason for, for James Milner. I might do it because he's not, he's not really a right winger, uh, Milner. He's got no one to play backup right winger with, uh, with Jason being our first and only choice, really. In fact, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. We fired the boys up. Second half begins. A few tweaks to the tactics. Can we get in front? Yeah, we don't want to replay this. Davis puts it just over the bar from a free kick. Let's switch to attacking in uh, our mentality. As we're approaching the hour mark, I think it is time. Oh, I think it is time to bring on Jason. Unless we can score from this corner, which Fernandez puts just over the bar. And uh, no, still nil-nil. Got to make some changes. All right, let's switch to our 4-4-2 system now, shall we? And uh, see if we can go ahead and get ourselves that goal. We really need... Uh, should I bring on Maria? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take off Camarasa for... In fact, let's bring off uh, Tomine, uh for Maria. I have Camarasa and Lerner as our central midfielders. Uh, I think I can afford to push Jason and Murphy up as wingers now as well. 24 minutes to go. The big boy's coming on. We need a goal. Let's get it, lads. 20 minutes on the clock here at Sinkill Bank. Still dealt at 0-0. Jason off the bench back to Lerma. Can we find that breakthrough? As once again, we can't find the opening in Lincoln's defence as they clear it long and, and, and Butterworth is onto it and it's blocked oh my word I tell you if we lose this if we lose this a giant killing right before the cup final I am not going to feel confident at Wembley as Fernandez goes down the right and he's tackled as well where is this highlight going I can see Lincoln nicking this you know I really can. Chapman on the ball. Down left. And it is Butterworth. And again, he's through and puts it in. Lincoln lead. Lincoln lead with 19 minutes to go. The League Two side are up by a goal. Holy shit. Oh, God. Chapman on the ball. Sends over the top. Evans caught out. Butterworth strokes him after a lovely first touch. Lincoln are in front in the final 20 minutes. Oh, if we bottle this corner, it could have been two. Holy shit. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, my God. As Warprouse flicks on and Lincoln get it back. 
See, this is this is a route to Europe being taken out by the League Two side. We were such heavy favourites. I didn't even need to put a starter in the starting eleven. There, there, there should be no way we should be losing this game and going out today. I can't believe this. Evans to Davis. 10 minutes on the clock. Can we rescue a replay as Camarasa finds Maria Paleo saved by Ward? I, I think we're going to lose it. Cup humiliation right for the cup final. That is not what you want. Three minutes to go. I don't even know. I don't even know. Davis and Stefano push him up as wing backs if they want to go up there, which they don't. There we go. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I, I'm, I'm stunned. This, this, this didn't even cross my mind. I thought the very worst would have a stalemate and a replay at Cardiff. This did not cross my mind. Lincoln City are going to pull off the giant killing as Cardiff come to single bank and are humbled. Yes! Josh Murphy! Oh, oh God. If we lost this, how are we going to pick ourselves up for the Carabao Cup final in four days? Fernandez is shot, saved by Wood, but Murphy at the far post turns in the rebound. That's why he got a contract extension, and I decided to keep him. He's been so big in so many big games, so late on, like I said earlier. And it's going into extra time. Oh, it's not a replay, it's extra time. Oh, God. I don't want extra time. I want a replay. I want to go back to Wales. Take me home, mummy. Oh, man. I'm not happy performance out there at all. We should not be in this position. Well done, Murphy, saving us. We should not be in this position. We're allowed to make a fourth sub, aren't we, for extra time. Uh, should, I, should, I, should I bring on Audrey Azola for Stefano on a wing back? I might, I might do that. Uh, yeah, for more energy down our right-hand side to help with Jason. Oh, what? It's, it's a re... It's a, it's a quarter... It's an it's a extra time. What? Oh... Never mind, sod it, just, just push him back. Extra time, come on Cardiff. Fernandez down the right, crossing to no one as Titov clears. Come on Cardiff, now now we've really sort of kicked kick Lincoln in the gut. I feel comfortable finding a second goal now. Stefano, oh what a ball! Josh Murphy. I tell you, he's, he's a Cardiff saviour. Season one, a few games to go. Josh Murphy scored two game winners in three matches for us that really kept us in the league. He comes good in big games. And as Stefano plays a delicious whipped cross to the back stick, Murphy scores our second. And now, now we're rocking. Now we're rocking. Get a third goal and it's game over. Give it to the kid again. Stefano, another decent delivery. And this time it's saved after Fernandez's header was set, saved by Warby. Turns in the rebound. And the blushes have been spared. Lincoln won, Cardiff 3. We're into the quarterfinals. Jason finds the kid down the right-hand side. I'm so pleased with this sign. He's my favourite sign in the window in the summer. And uh, he's been great for us in his debut year here. Cross finds Fernandez. Good save award initially. But, but Lenio turns in the rebound. That should do it now. Poor Lincoln City. But our blushes are spared. We're through. Corner for Cardiff as we go for a fourth goal. Jason swings in. Wilson heads clear. But Josh Murphy is going to track it down. He's definitely going on the bench for the Carabao Cup final. No doubt about it. As Camarasa gives it back to him. And Josh finds a bit of space. He can strike him. Oh! <laughs> he is indeed playing like season one, Josh Murphy. Eighth goal of the year, a hat-trick today at St Kilbank. He rescued us, he forced extra time. I might just start him at Wembley. Josh finds space. He, he scores really nice goals as well, Murphy. That's what I like about it. Opens up his body, curls it home for the match ball. What a performance from our number 11. Seconds from absolute disaster. And in the end, it wasn't Jason, it wasn't Maria, it wasn't War Prowse that got us that late equaliser and forced the final 30 minutes. It was Josh Murphy. Absolutely fantastic from Murphy. 96 minutes. You got a feel for Lincoln, haven't you? You got a feel for them. Seconds away from a giant killing. And we get that equalizing goal. And in, in, in the second and in extra time, we do what we need to do. And, and and Josh Murphy was the guy that did it for us. And again, that that's why he got the contract extension. That's why he's still our number eleven. I, I, I tell you, man, he's, he's, he's one of those squad players that you just don't ever want to get rid of. You know, you could probably find someone better to fill in as a backup winger. No doubt about it. But he, he comes good when he's given game time. And that's why he stays. Josh Murphy, what a performance.
One thing's for sure, I'm definitely going back to our 4 2 3 1 for the Carabao Cup final. I don't know what's happened to the 4 1 2 3. It's just, it's just not happened for us lately, has it? You know, this is this is our go-to system. This is our only system, if you remember, in the first two and a half years. But now it's just not really working that well for us. That the four-two-three-one that I made myself. This this is what I'm liking the most. No more counting down the hours. <laughs> oh man, you gotta feel sorry for Lincoln, don't you? Really, you gotta feel sorry for them seconds away from one of their most famous wins. Oh, Wolves! Yes, Harry Maguire! Oh, he wouldn't be in the team playing against his uh, parent club there. But uh, Wolves, well done, boys. That, that was their... Oh, they've still got a game in hand. But either way, Wolves, yes! I said it in the last episode, if it doesn't happen this year, if we don't make Europe this year, it's never going to happen. We're into the sixth round of the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup on the weekend, and we're still in the Europe place in the Premier League. If it doesn't happen this year, it's never happening. Simple as that. So for the uh, FA Cup quarterfinal, I want Aston Villa at home. I want Aston Villa at home. Let's see if we get them. Chelsea at home. We are at home, but it's Chelsea at home. And uh, Burnley take on Leicester, and uh, Liverpool take on Villa with Arsenal playing over Spurs or Manchester City. What a tie that's going to be. So Chelsea... In the FA Cup quarterfinals at the Cardiff City Stadium. We can do it. It's going to be tough. But we, can, we, we can do it. Come on, boys. Got to be honest here. I'm a little bit nervous now heading into the cup final. You know, at the start of the episode, I was feeling very confident. You, you, you heard the celebrations in our last episode. Because beating United made us firm favourite for the final. Whoever we came up against, Watford or Bournemouth. But after the escape against Lincoln in midweek, i got to be honest here. There's a lot more doubts in my mind now. There's a lot more doubt. I was so confident we'd be firm favourites of the game. After that escape against Lincoln, I'm not sure now. It could go either way. Watford versus Cardiff in the Carabao Cup final. Right now, Watford in the Premier League. 15th place and a few points off the drop zone. Sixth clear of Brighton. And uh, we, we might still be the favourites, but again, there's a lot more doubt in my mind right now. So let's do it. Come on, Cardiff. Let's win our first ever cup competition and get ourselves into Europe for season six. This is our team for the game. Back to the 4 2 3 1, obviously. And this is our lineup. Onana and goal. Back for Ogon Calves, Kimpembe, Jordi, and Audrey Azola. I was thinking Stefano after the, the midweek game. But I think I'd rather go with the experienced head in Audrey Ozola. Uh, Ward Prowse and McKenney in the middle. And uh, on the wing, Cessignon and Jason with Vitola, the advanced playmaker, and Maria up top. It's our strongest lineup. And on the bench, Moreira, Metham, Stefano, Camaras, McTominay, Murphy, and Fernandez, who's very tired. What's happened there? We'll keep on the bench, leave away Fernandez as well. So, second and final game, it's our first ever cup final. Watford at Wembley, come on you Bluebirds! Watford lining up in a 4-1-2-3. They've got a very good team to be fair. Delefeo on the right, Wilson on the left, and Hernandez, the, uh, the young striker, is leading their line. And I'm going to say to the boys here, I I I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be calm after what happened. No, no, I'm going to go assertive. I'm going to go assertive. After what happened on Tuesday night, I'm going to say to the boys here, look, we're favourites for a reason. Go out there and make sure they're left in no doubt as to why. Oh, that's it, nothing. Old reliable. I have faith. I have faith. That, that never lets you down. In the, in the individual team talks, always say calmly, I have faith. That never lets you down. Here we go. Carabao Cup semi-final. Watford. Come on, Cardiff! It's not just the silverware I want, it's to tick it into Europe. Both of those things to me are as important as the other one. So come on, you bluebirds. First highlight coming to the Hornets, though, in Nathaniel Shaloba playing into the young striker Hernandez. Now back to Shaloba. McKenney makes the tackle, but what forget it straight back as Delafeu finds space and finds Hernandez. Oh, what a goal! 14 minutes in, Watford strike first. They're up by one, and Hernandez has rifled one home. McKenney made a tackle on Shalou, but then just stood there as if he was frozen in time. Delafeu into the youngster. Kucho with a sublime finish gives Onana no chance. Watford are in front at Wembley. Last time Cardiff reached the Carabao Cup final, 2012. The League Cup beaten by Liverpool on penalties. Is there more heartbreak in the Carabao Cup final for, for Cardiff? 32 minutes in, we're yet to do anything. I've got to say to the boys, come on, get, get creative. Get creative, dude. Do something. Do something. Fucking hell. Why haven't we done anything? Half time. There's been one highlight, and it resulted in a goal for Watford. I... I... Am I going to shout at them? I'm going to shout at them. 
Am I going to shout at them and get into their faces? Or am I I'm just going to remind them, come on, lads, you're a bit of desire. You don't look like a team that wants to win. Come on. Respond positively. It's 45 minutes to go. We're down in the cup final. Get out there and get back on level terms. Come on. We've got the team. We're the favourites. We beat Manchester United in the semis, for goodness sake. That was a famous win for us. Do something. You've done nothing. Free kick. Kimpembe into Ryan Sessegnon. And our war prowse finds Vitolo. And the experienced man finds Odrio Zola. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. Come on, Paleo fucking Maria, baby. Audrey Zola, that's why I kept him in the team. I should say put him in the team. Ed Stefano, the 26-year-old with a cross. Maria would have finished. The Spaniards link up, and now we're trying to turn the game on its head. I'm going to say to the boys, no pressure. No pressure. Oh, for fuck's sake. Free kick, though. War Prowse. Oh, just over from Sessegnon. Come on. This second half has belonged to Cardiff City. Jason on the ball finds Vitolo. Peruzzi's there. Jason wins it back. And now War Prowse finds Vitolo. Back to JWP. As we look for an opening here. Weston McKenney back to War Prowse. Sessignon. Oh, first time strike by Ryan. Finds the back of net. And Cardiff's comeback is complete once again. Just like against United. We trailed at the break. But in the second half, we've responded. This is a show of togetherness and resilience from this Cardiff team. War Prowse to Sessignon. The English lads now link up. And Cardiff are in front with 13 minutes to go. Come on. You get some fresh legs through the middle of the park here with nine minutes to go. Get more energy. I'm, I'm so surprised how poor Jason's been today. I'll, I'll tell you the truth here. He's been very poor indeed. McKenny's on a, a booking, so we're going to have to take him off as well. Never like the ball infielder on a booking. Uh, we've got no one else to play central now, do we? Oh, God. Uh, I'll tell you what we can do. We can play Jason through the middle. And uh, we'll have uh, Murphy as an... How about as an... No, he's, he's a right winger, isn't he? Uh, a, left, a right foot player. Uh, I'll tell you what. How about, how about these boys inside, inside forwards? There's only a few minutes on the clock, but why not? Why not try something different as the clock is running out? Five minutes of stoppage time. <laughs> Come on, I felt confident. I felt confident. I felt confident in this team. And after calmly saying to them at the break, come on, lads, show a bit of desire. You don't look like a team that wants to win. They certainly looked like it in the second half, didn't they? They certainly looked like a team that wants to win the second half. Such a better display. And just like against United, we come from behind to win. And it's all over. We won the trophy. Our first piece of silver in the save. And I can say to the boys, you've done brilliant to come back and win that. I'm proud of you. They've, they've gained confidence. And that's what you want to see. They want to gain confidence for the final running in the Premier League. But we can drop out of the top six now, it won't matter. The silverware, of course, was important. But what was more important was qualifying for Europe. And that's done. Our first trophy in the save. Cardiff lift the Carabao Cup. Get in! C leads Cardiff to glory. Cardiff City fans saying Jay-Z's name as the manager inspired their team to lift the Carabao Cup for the second successive season. No, we didn't. We didn't win it last year. Bournemouth won it last year. What are you all about? I'll tell you, there's been some interesting like news articles and, and stuff like that throughout the course of the save that are just incorrect. It's, it's, it's fake news, as Mr. Trump would say. But either way, we, we've pleased the ball with a Carabao Cup win. Absolutely buzzing. Our first trophy of the save. And of course, that does mean as well, we qualify for the Europa League as well, which means Onana is happy to stay after we sort of, but didn't really promise him we're qualified for continental football. We are in to the Europa League next year. And the, 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 the fantastic streak survives as well. The fantastic streak survives. Got to get rid of those fighter friendlies. The fantastic streak survives. What a season we're having for Cardiff. I said this year we were coming into our own a bit. I said we were coming into our own. We, 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 were, starting to, we were starting to feel like a, a much more together squad, a much more confident squad. After last year's setback, this is more like it. The Carabao Cup won, Europa League football confirmed, and 14 games to go. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to slow down either. I'm not going to let us slow down. 14 games to go. We're only one point off the Champions League places. 
Plenty of season left to go. It's been a fantastic high, but let's not stop the good times rolling. There's still a lot more football to be played and a lot more things to come. So that was today's episode of the Football Manager Series, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Cardiff City are winners of the Carabao Cup. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you for next episode very soon. And how about this one here? Because we're not done yet. We're not done yet. The FA Cup quarter final under Chelsea, and then Liverpool home as well, and a big double header. Let's come back for that one. Much love to you all, guys. It's over. We finally got European football, and there's still after season left to play. I'll see you for next episode very soon. Bye now.